The future of organ transplantation could be right here in this petri dish. They may not look like much, but those tiny bands of clear liquid are cells that will soon grow into living human tissue. This process, called bioprinting, could revolutionize medicine by someday allowing doctors to create brand new, fully functioning organs from scratch. Well, we can print simple tissues today. So we print simple structures like blood vessels and nerve grafts that are a step towards getting to organs eventually. Organovo, a biotech company based in San Diego, has developed a device that can print simple tissues like skin, muscle, and blood vessels. It costs around $200,000 and is similar in design to a desktop inkjet printer, but it prints in three dimensions and uses a bio-ink made from a patient's own cells. It's like a rapid prototyping process where you print up a mold that stays around the cells and holds them in place as a piece of tissue, just like cells are held together in your body. Different uh, building blocks, much like you would with Lincoln Logs, are placed together um, by the printer in whatever large shape we want the vessels to take. What you're seeing on the computer screen here are the individual cylinders, and ultimately the, all the cylinders come together to make the blood vessel. Today, organ transplants are very expensive, sometimes costing well over a million dollars to perform. Transplants are so costly, in part, because the supply of usable organs is inadequate to meet demand. Many patients wait months, if not years, for suitable organs to become available, and many become sicker or even die while they wait. We're very focused on developing um, the specific tissues and taking those through clinical trials. Those are the largest markets for us by far. However, significant technical hurdles remain before whole organs can be created on demand. And bioprinting is just one approach being pursued by research scientists. Technologically, there are several pretty obvious challenges. You know, one is making the right cells. Is that if you think about most organs in the human body, they are complicated. So you think about the heart, it's got valves and pumps and chambers and everything else. It has many different types of cells in it. It's like an automobile. It's not just all nuts and bolts. It's other stuff. Second, you have to develop the kind of architecture and design that you're going to need to carry out the functions of an organ. And then you need good clinical trials to test these things to be sure that they're safe and that they really work. There's a lot of smart people with a lot of good ideas. You try to find a way to finance as many of them as possible, and then some are not going to work out. There are going to be plenty of failures. Well, that's the price of technology development, you know. Edison failed a thousand times before he got the right filament. In San Diego, I'm Michal Evram.